Pope Francis received a group of bishops and pilgrims from El Salvador that traveled to the Vatican to give thanks for the beatification of four martyrs who were killed before and during the Salvadoran Civil War in the 1970s. Dios, que es todo amor y misericordia, nos ha permitido estar aquí una vez más frente a usted. The Pope told them that he has two relics of Salvadoran martyrs in his study, of Oscar Romero and of the Jesuit priest Rutilio Grande, and that they inspire him to fight injustice as shown in the Gospel. Para que me hagan acordar que siempre hay injusticias por las que hay que luchar y ellos marcaron el camino. Y este proyecto de, de camino, de camino espiritual, de oración, de lucha, a veces tiene que tomar la forma de la denuncia y de la protesta, no política, nunca, evangélica, siempre. After their audience with the Pope, the Salvadoran community celebrated Mass in Rome, displaying portraits of their martyrs. Cardinal Gregorio Rosa Chavez presided over the beatification ceremony of the four new blesseds in January and said the pilgrims traveling with him were greatly impacted by their meeting with Pope Francis. Todos estamos admirados. They admired how the Pope took time to meet with each person. That's not common in his daily schedule. It is such a great act of love for this people that has suffered so much and that is in memory of the martyrs. This evening we have a gallery of martyrs here with us. We are very pleased with our meeting with the Holy Father. In his homily, Archbishop José Luis Escobar said that although they were killed, the Salvadoran martyrs have been immortalized through their efforts to advance the cause of justice that ultimately cost them their lives. Nuestros martyrs. Our martyrs have been glorified. When they were murdered, the murderers thought that they would finish with them. Our martyrs live. They live gloriously. It is they, the killers that hide, that don't show their face or name, that live in darkness. Several other Salvadoran martyrs are in the canonization process. Among them so far, only Oscar Romero, the former Archbishop of San Salvador, who was killed in 1980 while celebrating Mass, has been declared a saint. Good news from Rome Reports. This month, we reached 300,000 subscribers on our English YouTube channel. Thank you so much. If you are still not subscribed, you can do so by hitting the red button below.